The purpose of the white label CMS is to allow you to hand over a website to your clients which is of a much simpler format than the current uh, cluttered dashboard and unnecessary links on the left hand side. It's really simple to set up uh, and I'll just explain how to do it. All you need to do is come in and activate the white label CMS and just go down to the settings thing, click on the white label CMS. First thing we'll look at is customization. This allows you to remove all the panels on the dashboard. So we're going to hide the right now. Uh, as a default, all the rest of them are turned off. We're going to change the custom um, header logo to be um, this file, which I've already uploaded to the themes directory in the images folder. Um, you can set a custom width for that logo, but we're going to keep it the same. We have a custom footer logo. We're going to put in our website URL because we're developers and we want to promote ourselves. So that's our developer name and this is our website. And these will appear in the footer. Okay, uh, there's a new thing that we've added in now where you can actually change the uh, login background color and the CSS for the lost password code. It was requested by a few people. Um, we want to add our own dashboard panel as a welcome panel. And here's some uh, HTML we prepared earlier, which is our standard HTML that we put in. It's just a welcome uh, message, and we'll just personalize it same. by having the person's name in there. And finally, we want to modify the menus. So, what's new in this version of White Label CMS is the ability to um, show the widgets and the menus, uh, which was uh, which is normally hidden when you log in as an editor. So if I select, first of all, the CMS profile or website, that will hide the post menu, hide the links, hide the comments, hide the user profile, hide the tools, hide the second separator. But I also want to show the widgets and I want to show the menus. Um, and then all I need to do is come up, hit the Save Change button. That's now been saved. I'll log out. You can see, first of all, that this is the personalized login uh, logo. And also as well, if you put a complete mouse over it, it actually removes the alt text of WordPress in the link. Um, so let me just log in as the editor. Okay, so this is what your client will get now when they log in as an editor. You'll see up in the left hand side, there's the logo of the website. Um, you can see the dashboard's removed of all the clutter. And there's a nice personalized introduction here. And we just prefer to have links to the most important parts, but you can do whatever way you want. In the footer, there's actually the our, our, our website logo, our company logo with a link to our website, just as a way of branding it ourselves. Um, you can also see as well that we've removed on the left hand side a lot of the superfluous uh, menus that really don't get used, uh, you know, in, in most situations if you're setting up a website or things like that. Um, also as well, the big difference for this new version of White Label CMS is the ability to actually access the widgets and the menu system from the editor login. So you can see now that you can access the widgets or the menu system. So this allows the, uh, the client to be able to insert their own menu, pages into menus if they want to, uh, or of course you can turn this off. When you uh, uninstall the white label CMS, it will uh, revert all the privileges of the editor back to being normal. It's also been tested on multi-site versions of WordPress. So as you can see here, we've got the normal version. This is a uh, one called Fruit, and this is one called Box. As you can see, they've got different login screens. Um, if I log in, You can actually see that I can customize it for the editor on a subdomain, well, it's not on a mini site uh, using WordPress multi site. The thing to remember when uh, using multi sites is that you have to install the plugin network wide, and then for each sub site that you set up, you have to go in and click the Save Changes button inside the White Label CMS in order for it to update for the relevant mini site. Uh, and that allows you to give these different images on there.
but it, it's quite simple to do.